got all the supplies you need. Why did he apologize for not having chicken soup? Honey, he was teasing because you asked him to have an extra pair of socks for me. Oh. Well, he shouldn't be teasing. What's he teasing for? This is serious. Vicky, Vicky is missing, and she's with that man. I mean, God knows what he could have done to her. He could have kidnapped her, or honey, what if he killed honey, her? Honey, please, don't worry. What we got to do now is find Vicky, and we're going to do just that. And then everything's going to be all right. Now, I want you to stop having those bad thoughts, okay? Boy, I really botched things up this time, didn't I? How? Honey, tell me how you botched things up. Because I was in the room with her when Leo called and asked her to go meet him somewhere. Oh. I, I, maybe there was something else I could have done to stop her from meeting him. Tina, the man said he knew where her real daughter was. Nobody was going to stop Vicky from going. I guess, but I know I shouldn't have let Gabrielle talk me into using her car. I mean, she stopped for a red light. Can you believe it? When you're following somebody, even I know you don't stop for a red light. And when she stopped, if she hadn't stopped, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't have had to lose her, Vicky. We wouldn't have had to go back home. And, and, and she wouldn't be lost somewhere in this storm. Wait a minute, Hero. What exactly are you saying to me? Well, that this is all Gabrielle's fault. Are you saying Gabrielle deliberately kept you from following Vicky? Why would she do that? I don't know, girl. I, I mean, she's supposed to be a good friend of yours. You tell me. You know better than I do. Do you think there's any reason she would want Leo to trap Vicky? No, I don't even think she knows Leo. In fact, I, I know she doesn't know him. But you're telling me that she stopped at the red light. Yeah. But no, no, she wouldn't do that. She's my friend. She wouldn't do yeah. anything to hurt Vicky. Not at all. She just picked a bad time to be a conscientious driver. Cordero, cavalry's about to land. It's time for you to saddle up and join the posse. The equipment's all in the helicopter, Cord. You're all set. Thanks, Sheriff. Good luck, Cord. Have Dave ready your back when he drops you off. Yeah, we'll do. Darling, you take care of you here, and you tell Clint that you're both in our prayers. Right. Listen, honey, I, I don't want you to worry, all right? We're going to find Vicky. I'm, I'm going to find Clint. We're going to go out there. We're going to find her. We're going to bring her back home, and we're all going to be together, all right? Then maybe you can give me a kiss for good luck. Oh, honey, I love you. I love you, too, girl. You better hurry. That wind's starting to kick up again. If you don't take off now, you may not get off. Yeah, I I'm coming. Well, well I I'm coming to make sure you get off safely, okay? Right. Now, we've got reports of missing skiers up there. That's too many lives to risk. What about my wife's life? If she is in the cabin, which you can't verify, then at least she is warm and dry and safe from the storm. Leo Cromwell can be more dangerous to her than the snowstorm if she's there. And if he's there, which you don't know for sure. Look, since you've already got a rescue squad on the mountain, can't you just have him look inside the cabin so we'll know whether or not she's really there? Rescuing the people trapped on the mountain is their first priority. And there's no way you can make it up the mountain in your car. You get a half a mile if you're lucky, and then I have to send someone out looking for you. Now, when we know we've gotten everyone off the mountain, we'll send a crew up to the cabin. That's the best that I can do. Snowshoes. I'd happily just climb, a uh, walk up to the cabin. It's miles, Tina. It'd take us, take hours. We wouldn't be up there before morning. I can't believe this. I hate to think of her up there with that man. I, I mean, hasn't he caused enough trouble by lying about Christine? And why the cabin? Oh, he's on the run. From the, from the law, from me, from Bo, from Mesa. He probably thinks we wouldn't even look there. What really scares about me, Miss, about me about him is that he's so clever. And he's desperate. That's what troubles me the most. Why didn't I just tie her to a chair or something? Tie her to a chair so she could do anything, so she wouldn't just go out and meet Leo. Oh, look, you can't go blaming yourself. Now, we both know how... how stubborn she is. I mean, uh, she figured there was even half a chance she could learn who her daughter is, that she'd take any risk at all. Snow in the base. Come in, base. at base. What do you have, snowman? Male and female. Middle age in pretty bad shape. We're bringing the woman down first. We have an ambulance standing by. Ten for snowman. What the hell is keeping your rescue team, Sheriff? Shouldn't they be down off the mountain by now? Visibility is less than 50 yards. Wait, they're here. That's just the ambulance. We still have to wait for the snowmobiles. Well, can you contact Snowman, ask him if he's got an ID on the woman? Look, I know you're anxious, thinking that it could be your wife, but I don't want to hold him up with a lot of questions. They'll be here soon enough. He's right. The sooner they get here, the better. The storm was very sudden, caught a lot of people by surprise. The first snowmobile is here. No, 
it's not Vicky. Are one of you fellas snowman? He's still up on the mountain looking for skiers. How bad is it up there? As bad as I've ever seen. I've been working this mountain 15 years. Let's get her in the ambulance. Did you see how she was dressed? She was dressed in ski things. She, she probably had on thermal un underwear on and all sorts of socks and stuff, and she's still almost froze to death, but Vicky's out there. Vicky. Vicky is probably in the cabin with a nice roaring fire in the fireplace and sipping a cup of hot chocolate. You don't believe that any more than I do. It's still possible. Yeah, it's also possible she never got there. What if her car ran off the road or ran into a snowbank Let's or something? Let's not play what if, Tina. We'll drive ourselves nuts. I just feel so helpless. I, uh, maybe you should have told the sheriff that she was skiing. That way he'd be out looking for her. I thought when I told him that we needed help that he'd, he'd take some action, Tina. I just can't stand not knowing what's happened to her. Yeah, well, I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to find a way to get up to that cabin. But what's, what's that? It's another snowmobile. I guess it's that fellow they rescued. What? Well, it's not Leo, is it? No. Well, there must be something we can do for Vicky. There is. There is. When those fellas. Yeah, we heard it down here. What's going on? Cause and location, not definite, but we think it's a slide or an avalanche on the north side of the mountain. We're going down to check it out now. Use caution. I don't want any dead heroes. And stay in contact. Jet 4. Sheriff, that's the side of the mountain that faces our cabin. We better get down there and help. Negative. You're staying right here and wait for their orders. But wait a minute. If these fellows have a job to do, let them do it. I'm in command here, and I'm clearing the mountain of all rescue personnel until we have Snowman's report. If the rumble we heard was an avalanche, there's a good chance more will follow. Yeah, but shouldn't you send someone up there in case somebody's hurt? The men will go out when we have a full report, and it's safe. How long is that going to take? If we're lucky, half an hour, maybe longer. I, I don't believe that man. No, well, look, uh, Tina, the man is right. The man is right. There's no use risking other people's lives until, until he knows the score. But that was our only chance to get up the mountain, to save Vicky and... Take it easy. Take it easy. Nothing's going to stop me from searching for Vicky. But we're stuck here. I have an idea, but you got to help me. Sure, just... just... Tell me what it is. All right. I want you to distract the sheriff and that rescue team. Well, why? I... I... Okay, fine. I'll do it. You just promise you'll be careful. I promise. Now, well, you get to work and make it convincing. Yeah. Vicky's life may be at stake. Oh. Oh, guys. Fellas, I think I may have frostbite. I'm not sure. It's so tingly. Could you look at it? Wow. I think you're right. What? Are you serious? Oh, frostbite is nothing to take lightly, take is it? Oh, oh, How are your hands? They tingle? Well, yeah, they tingle. They're they're stiff, though. You're stiff, though. Well, a little. A little, yeah. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. They, they kind of stop tingling, but, but I don't know. My ears are tingling now. Is that a bad sign? You want to keep your head covered in weather like this. Keeps your body warm, protects your body. Well, yeah, but it ruins... So keeps your ears from freezing. Yeah, it ruins my hair. Yeah, well, a hairdresser can fix your hair. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Well, there ought to be some headgear around here. Oh, you know what? I feel like all the, the blood is rushed. I feel so, so faint. Ah! Yeah, what happened to her? She went out like a light. Get your emergency kit. Oh, oh. I, I think she's coming around. Tina, can you hear me? Tina. 